Greetings everyone, Guts and Tarek here. Today I have for you a very special mod. It's the uh, Afghanistan War in 2021 mod. And I'm actually going to be playing it on civilian difficulty. And as much as I might get comments saying, Oh, you're playing on the easy difficulty, blah, blah, blah. You're going to see why in a second. I'm playing as Afghanistan. So we have the Orderless Army. We have 70% less attrition. So very, uh, it, it's far worse than the Officer Purge debuff with the Soviets in base game. We get more attrition. Our additive supply is already at 100%. Our division recovery rate is half. Our army organization regain is 20% less than it should be. And our attack and defense is half. All right, keep those numbers in mind. The attack and defense are halved. Now the Taliban, they get 20 added. But this is before the war. After the war, they get like another 50. So they get 70% more attack, while we get 50% less attack and defense. Yeah, that is why I'm on the easiest difficulty. So... I have, I've, I've tried to keep their uh, things in circle, they do too much damage to my units. Uh, I've tried defending around these three points in Kabul. Doesn't work. The last thing I think of is encircling this little pocket here. Grinding this guy for XP. And having enough space so the attrition doesn't get too bad. It's the only thing I can actually think of to actually win this scenario. So let's try it. Let's legitimately try it. And because this guy is already encircled, and we can't delete him because he's encircled, uh, we might as well just see if we can get him out in time. We're going to be doing the basic infantry equipment so that if we can happen to make new uh, infantry, we could just span them out. And the war is about to start. Now let's see if this plan can actually work. Because the plan is just to encircle this this one infantry unit and it's already started not to work. Great. And this is going to be our line that we defend from. Hoping to get the encirclement here. But it's probably not going to work. You fool! You fool! You left a spot open for me to gain more territory and add to my defensive advantage. So this is gonna be the land we we're gonna we're going to attempt to keep control of for as long as we can. With like one space that is never going to be attacked. Which is called Northern Taliban for some reason. Maybe because it was owned by the Taliban, I don't know. I actually shouldn't be expanding. I should be uh, waiting for the front lines to uh, go here so I can just uh, actually. They're probably already entrenched, aren't they? <laughs> uh, let's. I don't want to call them to arms yet. Let's maintain the democracy. Get a milit. Let's get the infantry genius. It's going to add attack and defense, which we desperately need right now. 
and we're essentially just going to cycle people through to see if we can just add to the defense. This place isn't going to be attacked, this place isn't going to be attacked, so we're just going to spam this place with this tile with units. Hopefully they can just hold them off, hold the line! Let's see if I can change this real quickly. So that's going to be a line, and that's going to be another front line. Where's our top units? Our top units are spread across. Let's put them here. And these guys get to stay. The plan did not work. It was a failure of a plan. They just had too much fucking attack. And these guys aren't getting attritioned even though they're encircled. This is friendly territory to me. Wait, this is friendly territory to me. That's right. So is this place. I don't think I can attack through them, though. Maintain the democracy, policy about Taliban. Get the military theorist. We actually need him. We could have. Oh, we actually could have used the defensive guy. Uh, peace is the only way. Gives us political power. But we're going to have no peace with him. We're actually going to try to beat this scenario. How many civvies do we have? We have four. We can probably make a fort in Kabul. I mean, it's worth a try. No, no. Oh, now we have four civvies. I'm gonna keep flipping. Oh, we're already going to get two from this focus. So that's, we might as well get the forts because that's going to help. No, that's a 70 day focus. Fuck. Both these are going to be 70 day focuses when you combine them together, but they're going to be so worth it because our army's actually going to be able to be worth a damn. Let's get the defensive guy. Now we just let them grind on our lines. They've already taken 61k casualties and we've only taken uh, 7. Now we get the... this. More events that are meaningless because this was a rushed mod.
more army innovations. We can probably get another one. We might be able to get rid of them all. That's still gonna... Actually, no, that's actually gonna... We're actually gonna have a decent army after this. If we're able to get enough experiences from defending. The plan seems to be working about just letting them grind up on my lines. They have low equipment now. These guys have, uh, oh, these guys have half equipment. This is probably going to be the last time I can do this for a while. Because it will remove 50, uh, army XP. I was able to make the forts. So I might as well just make forts here as well. It's probably going to take a while. This should actually probably just be ones. Because if they take Kabul, it's the end of the game. But if they take these, I can still fight on. Uh, can I get anything else? I can get an armor expert, which I don't have any tanks, so that's going to be useless for me. Uh, I can get these guys, which again is not going to be useful for me. Well, I'm... I mean, if I want to... So these guys are going to only be useful if I uh, want to go for a full map completion, which I'm not going to do. So I essentially have gotten everything that I really can, so I might as well just use service by requirement. Just for the extra manpower. If, if this bit takes uh, more manpower than I'm expecting it to. Uh, let's get two more forts on Kabul. Let them keep grinding up against our lines because the AI the AI is stupid. Even on the even on the hardest of cultures, they would still do this. And now my army appears to be an actual fighting force. And it's about to wait. But I don't have the... Is that just going to remove the disloyal army? So this is all I needed then. Okay, now I can... I might as well wait a while to bank the political power. See if I can attack further. Make force here just in case. I can probably get rid of this one pocket. Maybe. Is that, I'm gonna have the, yeah, I have way more than enough guns. So I can actually start making divisions as well. We might as well put them in Eastern Kabul and make them go on the offensive. These are going to be the 30 widths. Because we have two infantry templates. We have these guys, which are 30 widths. And these guys that are 12 widths. Which, 12 widths are basically useless. We're going to want to pin this guy in place. There we go, this pocket is nearly eliminated. We might as well do this focus even though it's pointless. Because, I mean... I, I don't think these guys are going to be in position enough to uh, actually be called into the... 
Strikes, what? <sighs> Let's do a war propaganda, war bonds. We can apparently make the Persian Empire. Now let's wait until we can get a good advance going. We might as well just cut him in half. Put him under a field marshal as well. Put him, have, uh, infantry, like, and put into army groups. Front line here, and now we just wait. It looks like they're done attacking. Actually, let's let's do a careful battle planning. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's really because we're attacking into mountains. Uh, we might as well call in the warlords. They probably don't have anyone on their borders. We have military access with them, so... Do we still have military? Yeah, we still do have military access. So it's these guys who aren't given orders, correct? No, it's these guys, it's these seven teams. As soon as they get called into the war, we can attack in this free territory, essentially. And circle these guys, and then the war is over. Yeah, they're not attacking Kabul, but he's got, uh, he's got four forts. Oh, no, still got... So this, this focus is useless. Yeah, this focus is, <laughs> that focus is useless. have these guys encircle the entire front line. It's not the prettiest plan, but it's my plan. Guy's staying right, so yeah, he can keep attacking. Whoever's staying can attack. Make sure the pin's successful.
These guys might as well have their own attack order. Now that the main Taliban army is now defeated, front line across the entire front, staff office plan, strategic redeploy using the railroad lines, aggressive, and attack. Get as many encirclements as we can. Get some light micro. On the front. And we won. We have defeated the Taliban. Just like that. If only Biden had put me in charge of the Afghan military. We might actually not, the, uh, the people in Afghanistan might not actually be in a shit situation. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and video ado, and I'll see you next time.